welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Tonight's guest, Heist Almighty. Who other guests do we have on this show? We're gonna take a look at a beer that was sent to us by Ryan? Yeah. Ryan sent this? Ryan sent me this from Ontario. From Flying Monkeys in Barrie, isn't it? Barrie, Ontario? Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Uh oh, bet it says here on the bottle, you know, like Barrie, Ontario. Nice. We're gonna take a look at Super Collider. The double, double IPA from Flying Monkeys, uh, 160 IBUs, 10.5% ABV, one big Bracken beer. Let's take a look at this. It we says, are entering a brew dimension. <laughs> a brew dimension, adamantly conducting experiments to prove the existence of so-called hop particle. The meddling brewers at Flying Monkeys have done it again. No one knew that what could happen uh, when the super collider reached its full fermenting capacities. Would a miniature black hole swallow Barry, Ontario into blackness? Luckily, the universe was unharmed, but discovery was monumental. There are no limits to the desires of Ontario craft beer disciples. Man's mind, once stretched by a new idea, never regains its original dimensions. Oliver W. Home Bay Homes. And it actually says here, it's even got more. The beer universe is expanding. Super Collider Double IPA is the antimatter to uninspired IPAs. Meddling with the limits of regular Ontario IPAs, the Flying Monkeys brewed a double that blows a black hole in the taste buds of our IPA lovers. Pulse fermented with 12.4, 12 pulse fermented to 12.4 with a warp driven 160 IBUs. Super Collider Double IPA is uh, scientific evidence the beer universe is exp expanding. I don't know really if there's a lot of double IPAs that come out of Ontario. Not a whole lot. I, this I, may be the only one in bottles. I mean, I'm sure some of the craft brew stuff that just does it on yeah. tap locally probably has done this. I'm, I'm a little too far blitzed here to think about what other double IPAs I can think of that come from Ontario, but I don't think there's a whole lot. There's really not a whole lot in this country to begin with. I mean, you got that special one-off from uh, from uh, Propeller that's got a double IPA. Fingers crossed, it's not a one-off. <laughs> they just actually switched over to a seasonal. That's why we were able to get it so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mobile four. All right, we're gonna take a look at this one. 160 IBUs. That's the same level of IBUs as the Wirebacher double IPA we had last fall was. So I'm expecting, I'm hoping for great. This is gonna be something absolutely fantastic. Now, it has been in the fridge for two months, so the, the hops have probably waned a little. I don't know how long the Weyerbacher sat around before I picked it up there, yeah. so. Oh, this has got one of the foil caps you can actually peel off. Let's take a look here. Uh, yeah. It is a dry-off cap once we get the foil off, though. Here's your standard monkeys. Uh, Flying monkeys green cap on the top, green and yellow. Just like was on there, Netherworld Cascadian. Oops, you can go ahead and pour it. Okay. Boy, we're going to... Yeah, we've had a lot of big beers tonight. Okay, it's nice and dark. Jesus Christ. Ooh, it's just beer won't solve your problems, but neither will milk. <laughs> We're still live by. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. All right. So a big 650 milliliter bottle of beer. And... Big 10% IBU. 10, 160 IBUs and a 10% big beer and lots of head on there. Yeah, maybe not quite so many as the, uh, the Weyerbacher, but it's around the same color, a very deep brown. Fun bottle, too. Mm. Normal is weird, Flying Monkeys Brewery. Very deep brown, lots of carbonation, look at that. Yeah. That's just streaming of carbonation and I think you've got floaties. more, you've got more head and more carbonation and more floaties than I did. From yeah, mine, mine's a little darker than yours. Look at how, look at that, that's... You yours. can't really see it on camera, but mine has a ton of floaties down here. Look. Yeah, you showed me that. Yours has more head, more floaties, and more carbonation. <laughs> well, I poured it a little bit more aggressively, thinking the head wasn't going to grow too much, but it was. It really poofed up and it's sticking. Look at that. It's not dying off. His is gone. Mine's, mine hasn't really subsided a whole lot. There's a lot of carbonation, a lot of crud at the bottom. It's I'm actually here. picking up the aroma a little bit from here. Mm. It's got a nice, strong smell to it. Good sniff. Very pine hopsy. A little bit of grapefruit. Yep, yeah, a little bit of grapefruit. But yeah, it's, just, it's your standard super strong hops kind of thing. It smells like a double IPA. It smells like a double. A little bit of a little bit of malt in the background. Oh, wow, that's really nice. That's yeah, a little bit of like a sweet caramel. It smells the part. Mm. 
Well, it looks like a double IPA and smells like a double I IPA, so gotta say, I assume that uh, either best it probably is an IPA of some sort. Worst case scenario, it is a double IPA. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give it a sip. That's Opsy. That is definitely Opsy. Woo. Woo. Whoa. Woo, that's a lot of hops. That's uh I think my brain just got super collided a little. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Damn. That is an experience. Woo, that's a lot of hops. Holy shit. I'm almost getting kind of a black licorice -y sort of note on the finish. Yeah, yeah. It's got that like that earthy sweetness like a black licorice would have. That's or a demerara sugar, like a dark sugar. Yeah. Yeah, mixed with caramel. This is not the most balanced double IPA. I have double IPA. I've That's had. pretty much all grapefruit and piney hops. That's that is a real it's mostly like a white grapefruit hop. That is definitely a real uh, collide to the nuts. That's a uh, <laughs> Jesus super collider. I just met her, and then they built the super collider. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. This is definitely, okay. That's right up there with the Weyerbacher in bitter. In bitterness, yes. Yeah. In overall balance, Ooh. not so much. It, it it doesn't have a lot to balance out the bitterness. It doesn't have a lot of sweetness. Because the Weyerbacher had a lot of had a lot of sweet malt to it as it well. This huge, is just It had a huge malt to it. It punched in the face of... of uh, this is definitely expanding my beer universe. Mm. That is like a hop explosion in your mouth. I've heard, of, I've heard of hop bombs, but this is a freaking hop nuke. This is yeah. <laughs> well, that's probably why they call it the super collider. This is this because is atomic hops. Atomic hops, yeah. The hop particle has been released. Woo! That's a really hoppy beer. Maybe we're a little too drunk to review this right now. Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! That's a lot of hops, and it's tasty hops too. But it doesn't really have a lot to balance it out. This, a, is, this is not strong. a new bottle either. Can you mm. imagine how mad this would have been fresh? Mm. Well, we don't live in Ontario, we live in New Brunswick, but this is really quite nice, though. And you still get do get that, that, that nice uh, amount of caramel malt and the the, uh, the maltiness that goes in the back, a little bit of sweetness, brown sugar and stuff like that. But It is back there somewhere. It's back there, but it's kind of like you kinda in the trailer attached to the school, which is, you know, you're getting schooled by all the fucking hops are in this thing. This is... The, the hops, uh, you have to get through the hops to mm. find the malt. They're definitely not anywhere where you can find them up front. I'm almost getting like a little bit like a, like a coffee. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. There's a little bit of something, like a black licorice, coffee, brown sugar, mm. something in there. A little bit of coffee in there. Just... Once you get through the hops, wow, that's which really takes nice some though. work. <laughs> that's really nice, though. Um... Wow. And that finish is quite dry, too. Like, me even when all the sweetness that's in there, dries your mouth out. Doesn't it? It's not super dry, but it's a little dry. Mm. It's not the dry. Right. After you drink it, I mean, there's a wetness that sticks there for a bit, but after a while, that lingering bitterness really makes you parched, almost. Yeah, like, the, like the right almost, now. The almost coffee almost bitterness more. creeps up in the end. Yeah, I, I, I'm almost thinking, like, now that I've drank a bit, I want more because... My mouth is parched. I think we should probably take our time with this. Yeah, one. we better sit down with this one, otherwise we're going to be on the fucking floor. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll be right back. Wrecked. Mm. Atomic hot bomb. You ready? I'm ready. We're going to be wrecked. We'll be right back. that is and we're back and we're back with super collider from the flying monkeys a name like that means that you're going to fit fucked up in a hurry just like we are pretty much right here what did you think about this particular beer we are so wrecked we are fucked and that's one big fucking beer that's one big 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 bitter beer that's a lot of bitterness and probably not the malt backbone to back it up um it's not 
quite as unbalanced as what Garrison puts out for an Imperial IPA, but it's, it's much more, excuse me, bitter than that. This is probably the most bitter thing that we've ever had. The Weyerbacher would be the only thing even comparable. The only thing even close, because Weyerbacher really just grabbed your throat just like this one does. And the Weyerbacher actually had a big malt backbone to back this up. This has this malt, one, but This enough. has malt, but not enough. Not nearly enough. As much as the heady topper was approachable, this is not. This is like the anti-heady topper. It's good. I really like it. And it does have a malt backbone. Just not quite. There. But it's not quite enough to really balance it out. But I can't say that I, I hate that. If you're a really hot, big hop head and you're after your intense hoppy beers, really good beer to go with. This is a really fantastic beer to go with. But if you're looking for a quality beer that's not that's balanced correctly, yeah. So what do you think? What are you gonna give it for a Because it's not balanced, I cannot give it a four. But I'm going to go as close to that as I possibly can. I'm going to go like high, high three and a half, like 3.8. I don't know. I was going to give it a four. I'm going to give it a four out of five. Just because I think it's a great beer. I don't think it's like a 4.5 material, a high 4.5 material. But it's at least as good as or if not better than the, uh, the Garrison. And damn, it's an experience to drink this one just because of how intensely bitter this thing is. This will blow your mind, baby. Okay, so... Enough time wasted on that. Yeah, enough time wasted. All right, I think, uh, I think that's enough for round four for me. 3.75 from High School Mighty. Thanks for watching our review of Super Collider. We're going to talk to you later. Cheers. I barely met her.